we have our first barbecue in our small UK city garden. The weather's getting better and we've got this small collapsible aluminium barbecue. We're going to have a quick little barbecue test on there, see how well it performs. A bit of chicken breast and a couple of drumsticks. Hang about, stay tuned. It's a nice summer's day, so barbecues will be an option for you if you want to get some food outdoors, especially if you want to spend time in your garden. So hopefully you find this interesting and you can find links to this barbecue in the description if you want to pick it up. It's nice and compact. The garden's doing very well. You would have seen the recent update. Everything's coming along nicely now. And today we're basically getting a fire started. The barbecue, uh, there's a certain way of doing this. I've got some fire kindling that I'm using to get the fire started. If you're using firewood, you need to first get the fire going to heat up the wood that you're burning to create uh, coal and ember which then is what you use to cook your food on so it's interesting it's the first time we're doing this in the garden where we're actually cooking on an open barbecue i did do how to do an open fire in a garden chimney i might link that in the cards or the description you can check that version out it's the same principle get a fire going burn some wood which then gets uh, turned down to ashes and I'll show you the process here and also how we actually cooked on this little stove, uh, grill, what would you call this? I'll call it a barbecue pit fire situation and it, we'll see how well it performs. So you can see the wood turning grey now, so that's the ideal situation for this type of fire. If you want to get a fire going with wood, hopefully you can get them in bags from supermarkets, hardwood would be the best. The reason for that is the hardwood burns down to embers and stays as an ember for a little bit longer giving you longer heat which means that you can cook over a period of time on that heat i did find the type of wood i was using i didn't have to top it up midway because the heat was starting to get a bit lower i didn't cook much on it it was about uh, 30 minutes worth of cooking once the embers uh, were ready to be used and you want to get to a point where the smoke is clear you can see right now there's a bit of black smoke here so these uh, some of these old wood uh, legs we had some old hardwood legs of a table in the garage so i just put them into the fire to burn them up as well to heat it up similar to what i'm using here to prod it overall it's a nice little process it would be nicer to do it towards the, the end of the day with the sunset so you get like a nicer feel and environment Overall, the garden's doing very well. We're growing our own veg and loads of little projects to the small city garden. And I thought I'd bring you along on the journey just to share that there are other things you can do in your garden. Spending time with like things like fire pits and um, yeah, as long as it's controlled and small, you should be okay. Similar to like the foil um, barbecues you get. But this is reusable, so I'm hoping to take this along with me for a couple of uh, trips we've got planned. So you can see now everything's burned down towards... Uh, uh, an ember so it's giving off good residual heat so now we can actually start thinking about putting the grill section of this on so it comes in a few parts i didn't show you it putting it together because it's not really a sponsored segment just something i've brought and i wanted to share with you and uh, once the fire starts dying down you can actually put the grill element of the the cooking system on top and um, so we'll do that in a few seconds i think we'll have a let this smolder for a little bit i just want to make sure the heat and the flame is not going to uh, burn our food because you cook straight on flame it burns so here's a little section you can put on top which is where your food would go on and use a piece of uh, some tongs because it will be hot position it on top and it kind of slots into place and then you can start putting your food on uh, originally we we're going to cook this food indoors but we thought we might as well try the fire pit so some of these have bread crumbs on so ideally you don't want bread crumbs really you could try it it's like a fish finger but it's actually chicken breasts I've got some with breadcrumbs on and then some uh, with no, no breadcrumbs but ideally what we want to do is first test it so that little piece there is just to see how well it cooks because it's my first time on and just test it and not ruin all the food so you can actually do this where you use one piece and see how long it takes to cook using this example I noticed uh, it's about three and a half to four minutes on each side um, and it allowed you to cook for this thickness of meat and you can see when you spin it around it gives like a nice charcoal uh, finish and the good thing about cooking on a grill or open fire is the chicken tends to be more tender and more succulent like um, inside it'll actually be a little bit more moist and not fully dry sometimes you get like uh, chicken nuggets that are really dry and they don't taste that nice so with this fire you can see at the bottom is smoldering so the heat's creating enough uh, heat to cook the chicken and I'm, I'm skipping between here uh, some time because if I show the whole video, it'll probably be about 30 minutes uh, long. Obviously, I've cut little segments out just to give you the overview of how well it's cooking. 
the first piece I'll try half and obviously we're going to get our inspector to test the other half he's waiting patiently uh, to let us know if the food's going to be good enough so Max at Max Labsky you can check him out what you can also do is we had these little chili tubs of chili you can actually brush it on just to give it a bit more of like a, a tangy taste and a bit more if it's going to dry out you want it to stay uh, moist so again I'm just using the, the tongs to prod it a little bit just to make sure it's fully cooked and it was about six minutes seven minutes in total half on each side and then I used a, a knife just to cut it to see if it's good and you can see here it's actually very nice it turned out well some of the other pieces are thicker so I, I'm assuming I'll need to leave them for a little bit longer you can see when you squish it uh, see how that is it's kind of a uh, squidgy but not wet it's fully cooked through so that's a good a good thing there so now that we know it's doing well I'm putting the rest of the pieces on here you see there's a couple of drumsticks and uh, chicken breast and then we've got um, chicken without any toppings it's more just like a bit of a, a mix of a few spices on there the other one is breadcrumbs and these turned out really nice it's similar to Pepe's chicken burgers you know when they give you the grilled exile burger meal the breasts were kind of like that but a lot better because it was actually um, like cooking nicely so you can see here this is how it looks cooking on the fire and you let that work for a little while and about 10 minutes later I spinned it spun them around turned them around um, and I was able to see that it actually was turning into a nice piece of uh, cooking so we had a little bit of butter here which I just put on top just to make sure it doesn't burn it wasn't too hot but it overall it actually did quite well and you can easily cook like four or five pieces on here on an open fire uh, we'll take a little piece off the corner and let Max taste uh, to see what he thinks and the rest we can start preparing and let you know how that works out so I took a little corner piece off and we'll let him fry a little bit of that in, the, in a second um, I kept spinning because I didn't want it to burn but I think once you leave it on there it's kind of it, it cooks nicely it's not as hard I thought I was worried I thought it'd be very hard to do but overall it wasn't too bad I just kept spinning it and the heat was creating enough uh, uh, the fire was creating enough heat the embers to keep the cooking process going and uh, you can even blow in there to make the embers a little bit hot it came with this little metal uh, pipe that you can blow into the fire with so uh, again I was just keeping the, the oil based on there which is like a butter mix just I don't know I just didn't want it to burn so I kept doing that I don't think you need to do that and the meat's quite moist anyway so didn't need that extra um, option there to keep it moist so overall in the garden it's not taking up big space you can create a safe fire the embers fall into the tray in the bottom so your garden's not going to be all messy when you finish and then I can show you a clean up as well once I've done this how easy it is to clean the situation up so here's that little piece for Max let's give him a try and see what he thinks of this He loved that he really liked that so we'll save a little bit for max uh, once we've finished and he can have a bit of that so you can see as time is going on the colors are slowly getting a lot better and the meat itself it's very it's like a, a grill style but it's nice and moist and tastes tender i don't know how to explain it but it actually tastes really nice it's better than any of the supermarket or the the fast food places because you're actually cooking it and you're getting the full experience of it straight away give it a couple of seconds to rest once you take it off in a plate and add a bit of yogurt and uh, we had a, a yogurt mix with like some herbs from the garden and we put that into the, the plate with it and that was a, a nice little uh, treat so it's a it's good protein chicken and it keeps you going and you can see here it cooked very nicely and I was really pleased uh, as a first barbecue attempt it was quite straightforward so there's a couple of little pieces that I broke there just to make sure that it was fully cooked um, just to give a gauge of it so we've got some chard still growing in the garden so we'll just wash that and get a few pieces of the chard uh, to give that an overall piece. The chicken itself speaks for itself, so you don't need too many tastes competing with it. The breadcrumbs actually did quite nicely because they gave it a little bit of crunch. Overall, I'm very pleased with it. It's a nice little option for you. And how much did I pay for this? Uh, I'll have to put a link in the description. Uh, prices can change. And I noticed, see what I've mentioned about the fire? On the side, you can lift it up and put a few more woods in if you want to keep it going. Because some of the other pieces, like the, the drumsticks, needed a little bit longer and a little bit more heat. And I wanted to char them a little bit, you know, like with the they have a bit of a burn. Um, so overall, it, it worked really nicely. You can get the pieces out, and you can share them uh, amongst your family and enjoy a, a barbecue that you've cooked yourself. And that's something to keep you going. Again, the roses have come out nicely. We gave it time to cool down. We had to hold the food, and you can see here. This is how it looks once it's all uh, cooled down. So leave it for a couple of hours, and the top section will need to be washed off in the sink with a brush just to get rid of the remnants of food and the rest of it we can actually just put away 
uh, by getting the sections right basically so they were cool enough to touch but they were actually very cold after about half an hour we went really cold so that was quite good we had just the right amount of wood uh, but if I put a few more wood pieces in there and a few more embers I would have needed to top it up midway again I'm just using a brush here to brush away to store it and clean it so we can use it again the idea here is uh, this will be used for a com camping project so I'll link you maybe to one of the videos where we're doing some well I'm doing some videos uh, about camping and you can see here the the coal and everything just drops out you can brush all the pieces away fold it away into a small small nice suitcase and that's basically you sorted so it's all, always a, a nice option to have something that can be easily set up and easily put down you can use the other options like you're in the supermarket barbecues but i think that's a, that's not good for the environment like in terms of how they do it and people throw them away always in the park whereas this way we're all self-sufficient we're using wood you could buy from the shop wood or you can use some from your garden if you have like trees that you've cut down last year and then all that is ever left from this is just that uh, coal uh, the the ash which you can actually use for the garden uh, in your compost you can put the ash in as it's cooled down and the rest of it packs away and it can be used again so we're not creating additional waste for the environment we're just using like the minimum amount um, of wood to burn and cook the food and it gives you a nicer taste cooking on a fire is a lot better than cooking on gas and fake gas fires so there was a definitely improvement if you can and you have a space is worth trying this out it doesn't have to be this type of expensive one you can even make a, a fire on a chimney I just found this was a lot easier because it was designed to have food on top of it I was able to keep an eye on it you can even get the normal round barbecues like the, the generic ones but I didn't want something really big in the garden so the reason I got this was it's nice and small and you can pack it away you'll see here it just becomes very small and you can store it and it doesn't create like a eyesore in the garden of having a massive wild barbecue in there overall I'll do a few more updates on the garden update process as the small city garden grows and we get a lot more flowers and vegetables we might uh, make another one of this and I'll, zucchinis I'm thinking of grilling the zucchinis because I'm hopefully getting a lot of zucchinis and beans and things from the garden so yeah thank you for joining me today it's been a pleasure and I'll see you on the next video